Yo, Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. If you're wondering why my dislike bar, uh, there's a whole bunch of dislikes on my videos, is because a Boston fan was triggered. And I guess uh, since Yankees fans like myself have the best YouTube channels online, not even coming close to any in the other independent platform on here, they're going to throw a little fit because um, their channels only have like 20 subscribers. So they think they could get attention by cyber stalking somebody else. But really, I don't care. But I'm just mentioning that because a few people were asking that question. Because we all know if they did uh, videos like this, um, when they talked, you'll hear a sound of a chipmunk. Hello, Boston Red Sox fans. This is Josh from Boston, Massachusetts. You're now tuned in to Red Sox Entertainment. So Yankees fans, let's talk about how... Major League Baseball's Instagram is ran by literally a troll in his mother's basement. I've been witnessing this maybe for about a year now that MLB's uh, Instagram account is ran by some immature person or trying to be purposely, I don't know, a troll. But um, it's cringy. It's really cringy. So I don't know in what mind MLB decided to upload a picture of the Statue of Liberty in a Red Sox jersey. First of all, the Statue of Liberty, Lady Liberty, does not really represent New York as, let's say, oh, that's something that represents New York as a whole, but really it represents a bigger picture of freedom in America. But it is, you, you'll consider that to be part of New York slash New Jersey. There's a discussion that for years now that Lady, Lady Liberty is in New Jersey. But whatever. We won't get into that debate. Really, who cares when it represents such a beautiful thing like freedom, right? And talking about being a free country. MLB has all the right to post this picture. And people have the right to say they like it or dislike it. But in a business perspective, Major League Baseball is trying to expand its sport reach other fan bases and they're really not helping their cause when let's say they upload a photo of lady liberty in a red sox jersey it's so cringy and bad that even mets fans were disgusted i mean the statue of liberty has so much meaning behind it everybody could perceive it in so many ways and it's not surprising to me that people are offended by this because their whole point behind this was that they're dissing New York with the caption saying, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Like uh, Aaron Judge's song passing through the Red Sox locker room, New York, New York. Well, Lady Liberty, like I said, is really not a New York thing. It's an American thing. The Statue of Liberty represents everybody in America. It even represents people that are seeking freedom and let's say a third world country, it represents so many things. So for that MLB account to trigger people, in my opinion, it is not a wise business decision because whoever is running that account or persons that is running that account, they're cringy and they're not even funny. It's try hard trolling the way they comment people. I mean, it's really, really cringy. And if I were Major League Baseball, I would take a more serious approach, leave it up to the MLB players to go back and forth with the fans, interact with the fans. Don't do it from your, let's say, Major League Baseball account because you look like a troll and you look like you live in your mother's basement. You look like one of those trolls, Felix. I'm going to dislike your videos now. I'm going to stay up for 24 hours. Anytime you upload a video, I'm going to be notified on YouTube. Then run all my accounts to dislike your video. I'm going to give them 30 dislikes. I have 30 accounts. That's what MOB looks like. You know what you uploaded was tasteless when Mets fans are disgusted as well. That's all I'm saying. Yankees fans, Major League Baseball fans, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.